Greetings folks, welcome back to me. In this video I'm going to be uh, having a look at the Matexis uh, F765WSE board. Uh, I have previously reviewed the F765 wing board, uh, a, an amazing flight control board with ridiculous amounts of inputs and uh, servo outputs uh, and lots and lots of BECs and well filtered uh, video, all that sort of stuff. Unfortunately, this board is no longer being manufactured uh, due to a shortage of the main um, chip on the board. If you go to the Matec website, uh, you can see that it is listed as EOL, end of life, and uh, explains that it's due to the shortage of the, what's it called? The, it's the STM32 F765VIT6. F765WSE uses the VIH6 chip. So it seems that Matec was able to get hold of uh, a, a decent supply of VIH6 chips. So it means they can still offer an F765 board, just that it uh, is in a different uh, format and has a slightly different chip. So let's have a look at the F765 WSE. This is a, sort of a pre-release packet uh, it's available in a week or two, I think, uh, but this one didn't come with any pins, unfortunately, so I can't solder it up uh, just at the moment to show you how it works. But it does come with a little capacitor there for a little bit of extra power filtering, uh, a few little cables, and of course, the wonderful breakout board that has the buzzer, uh, the DFU button, and the uh, USB-C connection. So smaller board, as you can see here, the size comparison with the wing version. And one of the best things is you don't have to solder the uh, top deck wires down onto the, the middle deck like you do with the wing board. This one has a, a pin connector that does all that connection for you, connecting the top board uh, to the bottom board. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the amazing specs of the uh, F765WSE. So let's have a look at some of the specs. As I said, it uses the F765VIH6 board. Uh, the um, gyro and accelerometer chip is the 42688P, which isn't yet supported by INAV. So you have to use the, the firmware supplied by um, Matec to start off with. Barometer is the DPS310, nice and accurate, the normal INAV uh, OSD. Uh, six and a half UARTs, two I2C and one CAN bus, uh, six ADC uh, analog to di digital converters, uh, VBAT, current sensor, second battery and uh, an external current sensor are uh, options, analog RSSI and uh, airspeed sensor. It has 12 PWM outputs, so that's uh, 12 servos you can operate. 10 of them are D-shot, so I guess that means uh, ESCs. As with most of the Matec boards now, you get uh, switchable camera inputs. You can switch from camera one to camera two, and also a switchable voltage pin, so you can turn this nine volts or 12 volts on or off using uh, the user, uh, using user one parameter in, in modes and the camera switching is uh, user two. Can be powered uh, using two to six S LiPos, 22 amp uh, current sensor, which is higher than the wing. We'll have a look at the comparison uh, in a little bit. BECs, uh, five volts for flight control and uh, peripherals. For FPV, you've got nine volts, or you can uh, change that to 12 volts for camera and VTX. And for servos, uh, VX can be 5 volts by default. You can change it to 6 volts or 7.2 volts using little solder bridges. Enough onboard flash to, to run RG Pilot or, of course, INAV. As always with these Matec boards, the best source of information is the Matec website. Uh, they have uh, everything you need to know about wiring up. So let's have a closer look at the board itself. Uh, starting up here, we have camera 1 and camera 2. Uh, camera 1 is 9 volts, or the 9 volt pin next to it. Camera 2 is 5 volts, so that would be more like a, a HD camera. 
Uh, and over here we have the switchable voltage pin. You can switch that on and off using user one mode if you set it up. Uh, external current sensor here. Then UARTs, we've got uh, UART 8, UART 1. These are the two motor connections here, or ESC connections, S1 and S2. And RX5 is for uh, ESC telemetry. And we'll see a bit more about that later on. All the servo outputs here, 3 to 10, and then 11 and 12 here. LED, airspeed sensor, external current sensor. Uh, this, the CT and the CTS7, RTS7, R4, Arja Pilot telemetry. Uh, I2C bus there, RX, uh, UART3, UART6, UART2, UART7. And on the side you have these two JST connectors, four pin G JST connectors, one for uh, I2C2 and one for CAN bus. And now these are just different input protocols uh, and, and you'll know whether you have to use these by the peripheral that you're trying to connect. If you have a CAN bus GPS, then you'd plug it in here. If you have the digital airspeed sensor, then you'd plug it into the I2C. You can see the capacitor here we, where we connected here across the, uh, from the ESC positive and negative. Now, just look at this warning here. Uh, this is the uh, ESC telemetry pin. It's not the ESC red power pin coming out of the BEC. So do not connect the red wire from the ESC to RX5. That's for the, or the, the fourth wire that you'll get on an ESC that has um, ESC telemetry. Now, one of the differences between the wing and the WSC is that there uh, are only one set of pads for the ESC to solder onto. You have to sort of, if you've got two ESCs, two motors, you'll need to solder them both onto the same pads and one set of pads for the battery as well. Now Maytech have fantastic wiring diagrams as well. You can see, here's an example, if you connect the video transmitter to this uh, nine volt or 12 volt switching pad here, you can switch the video transmitter on and off, which is a really great idea. Shows how you connect up the ESCs over here, uh, both negatives and both positive from the ESCs go to the same pad. And down here we can see how to connect all the different protocol receivers. SBUS, uh, they suggest RX6. You can change these, of course, to whatever you want. And uh, smart port, if you want to, to TX3. Crossfire over here, RX and TX6. Uh, PPM and IBUS. IBUS is the FlySky serial protocol using RX6. F port, which is SBUS plus uh, smart port combined, the FR Sky receivers, and SRXL is uh, Spectrum's serial protocol. And here's how to connect the DJI style digital FPV cameras using TX8 and RX8. This RX1 here, I suspect that is for uh, RC control. If you're not using the air unit to control your craft, then you don't need that one. And then you power it from the nine volt camera one pad if you want to. So it's sad to see the old F765 wing board uh, being discontinued, but uh, at least we don't have to connect the wires to the top and bottom deck like we used to, being replaced by the lovely and equally as capable F765 WSE with a wonderful little breakout board that has the buzzer and the uh, DFU button and the USB-C connection there. So let's connect it up anyway. This is brand new out of the packet. I have done nothing with it so far. So let's see what happens when we connect it up to iNav. All right, so now we can connect it up and we'll hear some buzzer, I believe. Wrong cable, we want USB-C. There's the buzzer, nice and loud. Start beeping really loudly after a, a little while. Yep, all right, so let's turn the buzzer off. This is one of the great features of these little breakout boards. So, and we will connect up. There we are on the screen. You can see it showing up as the M7SE version. Uh, actually, let's 
Disconnect, go to firmware flasher. Let's see what's available. Choose a board. Maintech F765SE and firmware uh, 3.0.2. We won't flash anything for the moment. Let's see what version we've got loaded on. Type version in the CLI. Uh, so it is 3.0.1 Maytech F765SE target. All right, so you'll do the normal calibration. I'm not going to do that just now. There's the mixer outputs. Uh, this is configurator 302, presets ports. configuration and you can see the accelerometer and magnetometer are not detected because they are not recognized by INAB at this stage. Uh, the Maytech website says that that'll be available in 3.1, INAB 3.1, uh, so you need to use the target supplied by the Maytech website, not, not uh, by searching through the, the firmware flasher. Uh, what am I looking for? Modes. So here we go. Mode, scroll down the bottom, user one and user two. User one is for switching the VSW voltage on and off, and user two is for switching between camera one and camera two. So that's great stuff. It is a very powerful board with heaps and heaps of inputs and outputs. That's about all I can show you at the moment until I get some pins to solder them up. I can get black pins, um, but uh, I'm, I'm addicted to the different colored pins just so that it makes it a lot easier to remember where to plug things in. When it gets released, the pins will be in included. I think just that, that my pre-release version didn't have the pins. So, so anyway, there's the Matek F765 WSE board. Uh, and I am looking forward to when I can get it all soldered up and in a plane to take it out for a fly. Thanks for watching.